你好,今天我教你们中文两次 Today I'm going to talk a little bit about Chinese classifiers and how you can match them to the nouns that they correspond with uh, As you all know, uh, Chinese classifiers are very important uh, because uh, you can't just simply say a number and then a noun or this or that and then a noun like you can in English you have to classify that noun with one of these measure words uh, so example you can't say two fish as just Liang Yu you need to have the classifier as Liang Tiao Yu now the primary question here is how do you know that you have to use Tiao uh, how do you know when you're talking about a pen that you need to use Jir uh, what, how do you know what classifiers and today we're going to talk about uh, how you can learn the only uh, real 100% uh, fail-safe way to learn is to, whenever you learn a new uh, noun, a new character that you think you're going to want to express in the future, uh, you have to make sure you learn that uh, classifier and when that classifier needs to be utilized. Uh, so here I have compiled a small list that is by no means uh, all-inclusive of some of the classifiers that we have uh, learned so far in our three years of studying uh, Chinese. Uh, as you can see, uh, Chinese classifiers, uh, they all have uh, clues attached to them, and they all are uh, generally uh, based on some rational logic. Uh, for example, bun uh, is a classifier, as we all know for yi bun shu, shu uh, it is used to refer to bound matter, such as books or maps or whatnot. Uh, so, uh, it looks like ba is always uh, referring to objects that are held. So here I've listed some of the some of the logic behind them and how you know that if you're dealing with a noun that uh, falls into basically one of those rationales that it's likely that you'll be using that classifier. Uh, however, it is important to note that there are really two different types of classifiers here. Uh, you have this one, you have the ones like bun, which uh, are used to basically, they're always paired with that noun. They mean, they, they're matched up with them, they show one book. You always say yi bun shu. Uh, whereas there are other ones here, like bay, which are more, they're, they're more showing the mass of the, of the object. So, yi bay cha does not mean that you have one unit of, of tea. You bay, you're saying uh, a definite mass. You're saying you have one cup of tea. So, when you learn uh, classifiers that go with nouns, and you can peruse this list how, however much you want if you uh, want to check out my Glogster, uh, uh, the uh, a lot of the nouns here are on here twice. They have something that uh, is always referred to them when you're counting, when you're uh, when you're referring to it in that manner, or when you have them in in a specific a specific mass. So if you're always talking about a chunk, you always use quai and uh, something to that effect. Um, say you don't want to memorize them all. I can understand. I know uh, how uh, painful memorization can be at some points in time. So uh, there is there are some easier strategies for for learning classifiers. One of them is just to uh, understand the relationship between classifiers and the shapes of the noun that they uh, that they measure. Uh, for example, tiao, as we've mentioned earlier with tiao yu, uh, it always uh, mentions long or flexible objects uh, such as uh, fish, pants, river, bench, yu, kuzi, he, and dengzi. Uh, it always refers to that, just like when you ever want to refer to a flat object. Doesn't matter if it means picture or like bed. Uh, you're always going to use jiang. Uh, ke is always another one you use for small round objects. So if you have an object uh, in, in in a specific shape and you know the classifier that represents that shape, uh, necessarily might be beneficial to just guess based upon that. Uh, also, uh, it's important to note that some nouns, as we've said earlier, they have two different classifiers that can be used, and they will be used in different situations. Uh, here, it's not necessarily the uh, the mass and the counting distinction, but the uh, both classifiers uh, necessarily have different meanings. Uh, for example, yi zhi xie and yi shuang xie have different meanings. Zhi means there's only one of a pair, while shuang means there's both of a pair. Uh, so it's important to know the distinction between classifiers in that respect. Uh, but I understand you don't want to go through all this. I, I know what it's like. So uh, basically, your your absolutely fail safe 100% is if you don't know, just use ge. Because I mean, even in China these days, if they don't know, they're just going to put ge there, and it's a generalized. It can be used for whatever uh, classifier you want. If you don't know, if you haven't felt like memorized, so uh, you you can put it there. Uh, Shishe Zajin.